It's way too fucking hot. I'm tired. I just did a one hour recording on my channel. So, I'm not starved for content today. So I'm gonna try to make this particular vlog short. But, um... Told you so. <laughs> it's uh, nice to be vindicated. Officially. I was already vindicated by the facts regarding my assertions with COVID-19. And now, there has been a FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act request, that has pulled such revealing gems from Fauci's emails as him telling a woman named Sylvia Burwell on the 5th of February 2020, masks are really for infected people to prevent them from spreading infection to people who are not infected, rather than protecting uninfected people from acquiring infection. The typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out the virus, which is small enough to pass through the material. It might, however, provide some slight benefit to keep out gross droplets if someone coughs or sneezes on you. I do not recommend that you wear a mask. Particularly, since you are going to a very low-risk location. Your instincts are correct. Money is best spent on medical countermeasures, such as diagnostics and vaccines. Safe travels. Best regards, Tony. Just a little bit. So, that's a thing there. <laughs> And so are a variety of other things, not the least of which um, are admittances to a variety of things. Now, <laughs> not too long ago, Fauci admitted that the mask thing was uh, a lie in the beginning, that he lied to a bunch of people, like Sylvia here, privately, like the American public publicly. Now, either he lied about the masks being unnecessary, or he's lying about having lied about the masks being unnecessary because now everybody's saying they're necessary to, you know, control people. You know? I, it's, it's almost like they already knew the program and you can't trust these liars. You know? It's almost like getting something from a Freedom of Information Request Act is not the only way. Like, you can deduce these things. You can believe people when they ask fucking questions. Like, it's always okay to ask questions 100% of the time. And if any official tells you differently... It's because they're trying to hide something from you. Why would they need to hide things from the American public? Well, because the things they're hiding are the kinds of things which make them look bad. Could it be? Maybe. I'm just asking questions, you know? Because, like, so many of these things are things that, like, th th that are being accepted now are things that were considered taboo subjects to bring up. I got called a variety of terrible things. People called for my censorship. Uh, and a variety of people in a variety of circles told everybody to basically shun me and attack me if they weren't going to do that. Because I had the audacity um, <laughs> to question the official narrative. And uh, now, the official narrative is being questioned en masse. You know? It, it's like, it's funny. It's funny. How things change. How suddenly things that weren't okay are okay. <laughs> like, uh, when he says in this email... You're the voice of... Re uh, sorry, when... when Not him, but... 
uh, uh, he got a list of, of like, concerns uh, from uh, the office of the Surgeon General. And that list included, you are the voice of reasons for millions of concerned citizens. <laughs> a list... <laughs> so, the, the things in this particular thing, they include saying that hydroxychloroquine could work. Um, apparently he ignored that. And you know, that's only if that's actually necessary. Might not be. You know? There's like, things involved here. There are so many pieces of evidence that just came out, right? Um, <laughs> I just, I feel like, exhausted. I feel exhausted because for the past one and a half years, I've been being called all manner of things, <laughs> all manner of things, right? For having the audacity, the audacity uh, to question that maybe this came from a lab, you know, right? Maybe this came from a source that wasn't just some bat. Maybe that's a racist lie that people were told to keep them from looking at the power structures that they could dismantle, you know? Like all other racist lies? Oh yeah, you know what? <sighs> as long as we stop those damn Asians from eating them bats, we'll be totally fine. You know, and then issue travel restrictions, and, and wall up the border, and, you know, have all this sentiment be very public. That's what we should do. We shouldn't look into the powerful people that might be responsible. We shouldn't look at the fact that Fauci might be connected to a lab that might have had access to this virus and been gain-of-functioning, doing some little gain-of-function research to make sure it sticks to humans all nice and tacky. You know? This is, uh... <laughs> from, uh, Fauci. Thanks, Kristen. Talk soon on the call. And then from Kristen. Hi, Tony. Thanks for sharing. Yes. I saw this earlier today, and both Eddie and myself are actually quoted in it. It's a great article. But the problem is that our... Phylogenetic analyses aren't able to answer whether the sequences are unusual at individual residues, except if they are completely off. On a phylogenetic tree, the virus looks totally normal, and the close clustering with bats suggests the bats serve as the reservoir. The unusual features of the virus make up a really small part of the genome, less than 0.1%. So one has to look really closely at all the sequences to see that some of the features potentially look engineered. We have a good team lined up <laughs> to look very critically at this, so we should know more at the end of the weekend. I should mention, after discussions earlier today, Eddie, Bob, Mike, and myself all find this genome inconsistent with expectations from evolutionary theory, but we have to look at this much more closely, and there are still further analyses to be done, so those opinions could still change. Best, Kristen. <laughs> that was an email right there. Right? And... <laughs> the emails include... Uh, the fact that... Uh, he and Collins, this is on the New York Post, which is not necessarily a reliable source. He and Collins corresponded in April 2020 about Fox News reporting on, quote, increasing confidence that the virus started in a Wuhan lab. You know? And then they talk about how it's all like this, the conspiracy gains momentum. <laughs> it's a cover-up. It's a cover-up. Because certain people had to be sanctified in order to make their cult work. It's a cover-up. That's all it is. It's a cover-up. 
And the fact that people like me have been covering this for like a year and a half, and only just now are people starting to say that there's a cover-up, that there are facts that maybe the establishment would want to hide. It's bittersweet. It's fucking bittersweet. Because it's sort of like a variety of other things. I was told by so many people that have talked to me for a significant period of time but didn't fucking believe me about conspiracies and shit. That, you know what? We can, we, we, we can see where you're coming from now. Or, yeah, you know what? You were right. But it's only after years and only after official confirmation. Because I can draw whatever connections I fucking want to. I can bring whatever facts I fucking want to. And in the end, in the end, what matters is that the elites agree with me. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Since the beginning of last year, I've written a ton of articles. I've made a ton of social media posts, videos. I've gone on interviews to talk about things like this, to connect the dots. I mean, sure, I'm not a doctor, um, as evidenced by the beard. But you know what? The whole point of science should be to find findings that can be proliferated. The whole point of inquiry should be that anyone can ask questions. And the idea that a commoner can't participate, the idea that that's anything less than bougie bullshit, fuck that. You know what? Fuck that. I like the fact that more and more people are starting to admit that I might have been right about some of the stuff I was saying, but at the same time, I wasn't just bullshitting. I wasn't just throwing shit out there. I quoted the guy behind the U.S. Convention on Bioweapons, the guy who wrote basically what bioweapons are and how to deal with them, him saying that this is a bioweapon. I quoted multiple doctors who said that, yeah, you know what? This is like a thing we deal with normally, you know? Maybe we shouldn't panic and lock everything down. I quoted a ton of doctors in saying that removing people's freedom to interact with pathogens is going to make things worse. I quoted a significant amount of medical research in saying that the response to this pandemic, whether engineered or not, is making everything fucking worse. And what did I get from it? I got censored from Twitter. I got shit on by a significant amount of people in the liberty sphere. I got a significant amount of flack from blue-pilled normies. I got a significant amount of hate from pretty much everybody. Even my family thought I was full of shit until some of these things started to be approved by the elites. And whatever, you know what? Whatever. I'm the insane conspiracy theorist. That's my duty in life. But you know what? It'd be nice if people could just connect the dots, or if they could at least look at the dots I connected, and other people have connected as well, the fact that this is largely so that they have an excuse to increase their power, to move contact-free bullshit everywhere so that they can institute a digital dollar and go privacy-free, slowly starting to remove yet more of your freedoms in the name of security. The fact that they're going to use green bullshit as an excuse when, reminder, the state is still the single biggest polluter. The fact that they're going to do all of this all of the stuff that I said was going to happen either already has or has been admittedly in the works. And I'm still the crazy person. 
It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Every day, I wake up, and I immediately take caffeine. But you know, that's not what gets my heart rate up. What gets my heart rate up is logging on to that fucking computer, this fucking computer, and knowing that I'm going to catch so much flack for so many true things that I said. No matter how many facts I bring up, no matter who's demonstrably and provably a liar, and this is the way it is. And it's not just me either. So many other people I've seen catching shit for talking about this shit candidly. Which later gets proven to be true because it makes, you know, fucking sense. A biosafety level 4 lab is used for research like this. You know? It's used to engineer things like this. Whether you think it was engineered or not, that's a separate issue. Right? It's definitely there for that. And the fact that everybody assumed it comes from bats just shows that we're not nearly as fucking progressive a society as the liberals, not leftists, but liberals, backing up Fauci want you to believe and want you to think is their agenda. They don't actually give a fuck. They're not here to liberate anyone. They're not here to actually be leftist. They're not here to be progressive. What they're here to do is cement their power and to make sure that it looks like it was your choice. And the Republicans are right there with them. So don't give me that cathedral bullshit. We had Trump right there puppeteering the whole thing. At least his decidedly limited part of the whole thing. Being the reality TV show host that we all needed him to be. The terrible villain. So that once he was unseated, everybody could act like everything is back to normal, even while the fucking government admits to lying to you. And if they're truly being honest about the lie, Fauci is responsible with his professional position for hundreds of thousands of lives lost and millions, if not billions, negatively affected forever. If this isn't an overblown pandemic, if this isn't being taken out of proportion... Fauci has participated in mass killing. And this is considered normal. And people wonder why I don't mind being the fucking weirdo. It's almost because normal fucking sucks and it hurts people. Even and especially the new normal. So here's to being abnormal. Smash the fucking state.